My first visit to Bearwood was literally like stepping into all of my childhood secret garden dreams times one million. Bearwood feels like a place that has been created as a movie set, but really it's just a slow, sprawling extension of creative expression. I love the quote that Gertrude Jekyll said, a garden should curtsy to the house, and I loved the old 100-year homestead. So really, that's where I started. Keeps me very happy. I mean, I've gardened for 40 years and love it as much today as I ever did the first time. I still get excited about it. It's my happy place. Yeah, it's probably, it's been great for me. I could have been lonely up here, couldn't I? But I never was, because I would go out and garden. And that's when Joe tried the gelignite. Yeah, trying to, He tried to gelignite my first garden bed. So down in front of the house, we laid a line of gelignite and I covered it with some covers, including a horse cover. And boom, it went and I looked up into the tree and here was the horse cover hanging in tatters. It's just something that's, that grew on her, and then all of a sudden I realised it was out of control. So the, what was the calf paddock is now where we're sitting now as we talk to you. Clothesline's been moved five times. And the chook house was just there, and uh, it's just moved from there. She has this amazing vision that she can imagine very clearly what she's going to end up with, whether it be decorating in the house or out in the garden. So she sees it finish before she starts. As my daughter says, we've had the best of it because I never started out to have a garden that people came to. It's just a passion and a love which has grown and as it's become bigger, it's certainly become more beautiful. I mean everyone that gardens that is keen will tell you that because you keep working at it. Get your lines right first, and, and then go from there. Because if you're going to be keen, you'll just become keen, and you'll, get, you'll work at it. You either learn by working in it, as I did, you can learn by reading or having someone do it for you. I mean, it's like anyone. It's like a doctor has you know, have his first injection, isn't it? Same thing. It's definitely country, but it's definitely considered. And the elements of formal versus absolute chaos is just, it just makes you feel amazing. It is the most wonderful feel good thing. And people say that all the time. I think just come, people coming and walking the garden makes them feel, feel good. And so when people come and They've cried when they've walked into the garden. It's a fantastic thing to think that you've moved someone like that, isn't it? Gardening is painting a picture, but it is never, ever finished. And that for me is the joy. And being a florist absolutely is like creating a big arrangement, really. In New Zealand, when you visit a garden like this, it's unique to us here that we actually get to interact with the people that created this. There are no teams. There is Carolyn and there is Joe. And walking around the garden was like walking with a living pair of encyclopedias. <laughs>